one interconnected ocean, a vast blue expanse critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the story of the ocean with all its splendor and uncertainty than the killer whale, or as it's scientifically known, the Orsinus orca. The orca lives in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the mighty Pacific and the Orca. This whale's story is the ocean's story, and it is one we all share. describes the differences between killer whale size, physical form, prey, social structure, and habitat. As you can see, the differences are subtle, but noticeable when compared side by side. Orcas are adapted perfectly to their environments. And even the whale's black and white coloration has a purpose. It camouflages the outline of their bodies in the water, making it easier for them to surprise and catch their prey. When viewed from above, the black of the whale blends in with the dark depths of the ocean. From below, the orca's white bellies match the brighter surface of the water, blending with the light above, giving them the perfect camouflage. Flippers on either side of the orca's body are 
are called pectoral flippers and are mainly used for steering and for stopping. Those pectoral flippers have five bony digits inside them, just like the human hand. The lobes on either side of the tail are called flukes. The tail fluke is the killer whale's engine, propelling them close to 30 miles per hour. That's as fast as some of our speed boats. But they swim the fastest and use the most power when propelling their nearly 10,000 pound bodies all the way up and out of the water. Killer whales are highly social animals with a well-defined social structure. An orca pod is always led by a female. Though just half the size of her male counterpart, she is in charge. It's all about attitude, not size. Because they live and work as a group, orcas need to communicate with sounds and body language. Orcas use clicks for echolocation or navigation. <laughs> Whistles to socialize in the pond. And calls for group coordination and hunting. studies here at SeaWorld show that early on, calves learn vocalization from their mothers. But as they grow, they learn from others close to them as well. This is a bottlenose dolphin call that Shuka learned and even taught other killer whales here at SeaWorld. In fact, orcas are the largest members of the dolphin family. Whales here and in the wild use vocalization to communicate all the time. Like most animals, killer whales use body language as a part of their communication. Pectoral slaps are used to show dominance or to get noticed. For example, a mother may use a peg slap to get her cat's attention. <laughs> When they really want to be heard, they breach. <laughs> Norwegian killer whales will circle herring, herding them together. The whales use sailors to coordinate each other and to disorient the herring. 
their fish confused and contained, the whales stun them with their powerful tail flukes, making for an easy meal. In this example, we see the larger male orcas surround a sperm whale forming a perimeter, while the females continue to drive the whale forward until it reaches exhaustion. The calves then move in to join the adults in the group. Whatever their prey, killer whales always cooperate and hunt together, making them a highly successful predator.
to be touched. And we'll rub their bellies on rocks when they can. studies. One ongoing study monitors the whale's heart rate and breathing to understand how marine noise pollution from ship engines and other sources affect wild populations. In another study, scientists from NOAA, the Hello? National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, took measurements of the killer whales living here, including pregnant whales. By comparing these measurements with drone footage of killer whales in the wild, Scientists are able to monitor the wild population's nutritional and reproductive states. Other research has been done here at SeaWorld on the mother whale's milk composition. This research will help create an effective model to understand how toxins in the ocean impact wild killer whales and their milk supply. Helping whales in the wild survive. 
And just by being here today, you've supported our rescue, research, and conservation efforts all around the world. If we work together, like the killer whale, we can protect the future of the Orsinus orca and this beautiful planet that we all share.